Aquarius, welcome. Thank you for joining me. Very special heart spread here. This uh, Mercury retrograde heart spread. I want to look here at that one that got away. It's not necessarily someone you're actually engaged with. That'd be more of a regular heart spread because I'm trying to look at the one that we just can't get out of our head. If you have that one, I don't know. And um, try to get some insight into it, you know, not just say, oh, it was this person. And uh, because I feel like that kind of thing, it means something, you know, we're always uh, looking for that missing part of ourselves and the other person. So whether I love something about someone or I hate something about someone, uh, the one thing I'm always certain of is that actually tells me something about myself <laughs> as an introvert. So that's kind of, I think, the ultimate value of this. And it's the ultimate value really of the Mercury retrograde, I think, itself, is to come in and put these things and review these things in their own mind uh, and put that into some better perspective so that our life is in better perspective, our, our mind is uh, higher after, after the experience. And uh, you guys are getting some, there was some nice uh, trine energy going on, Mercury and Jupiter. So there's a lot of reason to think there could be a lot of positivity around. Everybody acts like every ret uh, retrograde is bad, it's totally not. It's simply, uh, it's really based on how it hits your natal energies, but you know, um, you know, this could be really just a lot of epiphanies, downloads, however you want to look at it, realizations, but good things, not not like, oh my God, and sob, no, but like, oh my God, and like now it's a little easier because now you get it, and you know, uh, it's like massive old frames of your mind just snap into place, and you suddenly get it, and you're just like, ah. Oh, and it can just be so meaningful and it's all just taking place in all in our mind. And it's not about the machines breaking down or even about the X's. And this isn't really about the X either. This is about the energy that we're holding of this person. It might not be bad, it could be just someone we love and they're awesome and for whatever, whatever reason they're not in our life. And we, we like that energy, that's fine. So, Aquarius, <laughs> wow, uh, I'm not really sure how to read this uh, because I'm trying to go back, maybe on a birthday, maybe on a birthday, I'm trying to take this back, normally it's your energy in and around love and relationships, here it's your energy in and around this person that you can't get out of your head, and I want to go back to when your first meeting like your first meeting chart. You can make a chart of the date and the time if you have it. Love first meeting charts. I wouldn't leave home without one. <laughs> um, I think they're all kind of meaningful. But wow, coming in with the star, your own energy, your own card, um, this shows that with this person you're thinking of, you could utterly be yourself. And if this is your reading, then this, you go, yes, yes, and that would have been a strong, you would have told your friends, you told yourself, you told them, I feel like I can be myself with you, um, which is a lot for an Aquarius sometimes, uh, sun, trine, Uranus, okay, Sag, but respect, <laughs> it's hard, uh, and so I'm just guessing if someone uh, makes you feel that way, that's good, and this was an earth sign person, man or woman, earth sign person, somebody substantial, uh, you would have seen them as being a little more substantial than you, like a little more worldly than you, more self-contained than you, Aquarius. Mundane, mundane comes to mind, but you like it. There's a Venetian quality too, sensuality, this earthiness, you know. I'm fire, you know, but, and, but there's this, there's this way that an earth energy can just ground you out and you'd think it would be not a good thing, but it is, <laughs> right? It is like they just get feeling kind of grounded you out. So it's like you would come around them and like as soon as you touch them, it would be like all the energy goes out of you and not in a bad way though, just like relaxation, like somebody hits a button and you just go, 
and your body just is like free. And uh, you'd probably go, wow, I didn't realize I had any tension at all. In fact, we mostly do. But this person, that's what they did to you. And I don't see this being like a adolescence energy. You were an adult, this person you're thinking of. Uh, you may have manifested them even with your star card there. And they would have been a substantial person, sincere person. Fool. And you were a fool for them. I mean, there's major kind of star in the fool. I was, why, you know, uh, why try to fix something that's not broken? You were a fool for them. Absolutely what that is. How you felt about them, that's what that shows. Ace of Swords. Well, here's the rub, I guess. Why you're thinking of them, okay? Not married to them. Um, Aquarius. Um, so with this Ace of Swords, um, it, it's really bad because uh, you being completely yourself, being probably completely open, possibly thinking that you manifested th them, definitely would be a feeling like they're, they're my soulmate. And the fool would be just literally like throwing yourself on them with you know, heart, mind, body, and soul just gone. Why to like take me, right? And then they're like, nah, I don't know. I don't know. This could be Virgo energy too here, uh, Aquarius. Just hit me. That combination of the Queen of Pentacles and that Ace of Swords, that's like, you know, the, the you see these memes, and it's like, you know, you know, I'm, I'm, I thought I was in love with my soulmate until I heard them uh, chewing uh, something at dinner, and then it was over for me. <laughs> uh, it's a little bit low vibrational, a little bit younger. So I don't think they're particularly young, but there's there's something about that that's kind of immature about the way they react to you. I think because they, they they wouldn't throw themselves at someone, Aquarius, and it kind of was hard for them to then consider someone throwing themselves at them seriously. And I think that might be some of what this was. It's like th just the way you acted to them, and I probably wouldn't have, I'd probably loved it, and you were just being you, uh, but to them, they might have seen it as a massive red flag. Like you came running in, you know, with a red flag from floor to ceiling, like carting it behind you, and they're just like, ah, 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 ah. I'm not gonna do the massive red flag with uh, Aquarius. <sighs> Three of Pentacles, advice from spirit. I gotta see what their advice is. It's different with the advice here. Uh, four cups. Well, this is advice to you really, but this is going back to where they were with you. And this is them showing no emotional interest, uh, being uh, mostly unavailable to you, cold to you. It's coming right under that Ace of Swords. Um, it's maybe just trying to make it extra clear to you that, I mean, there is no going back with this person. So uh, right now, I'm trying to understand, I might pull a clarifier, but you know why you're thinking of this person, or do you? Um, but this Three of Pentacles is something about work. Um, and this is kind of, this is also about cooperation, but it's also doing the good work, the good artistry. And it's coming underneath of the pool, uh, fool. It's a strange card to come under the fool. But I think here the fool just explains the position you were in. Excuse me, when you responded to this person and connected with them. And even though you were a little bit older, perhaps like in the Capricorn reading, maybe this was the first really significant uh, emotional, uh, sexual, romantic relationship of your life. And it hits you really hard. So what would you take away from this? Just rejection. One thing I see, it I don't see like in the Capricorn uh, reading, there was the deception and everything. It looks like this person rejected you rather immediately. Um, and honestly, sincerely, <laughs> I'm just sorry to laugh, but they sincerely rejected you, Ace of Swords. 
So what is it here you're called upon to work on? Certainly not this person. And we always got to think about what, what is it that attracted us to them in the first place? And, you know, I think what would have attracted to you is they were um, solid. They seem to use solid as a queen of pinnacles. And then, so what's your advice to become solid? You know, do that working on your foundation, doing the work, threes actions too. I love this card. This is someone that loves what, they're, what they do. They're the best at what they do. This person will probably do this if they didn't get paid. You know, they just be like, hey, I'm going to go do my thing in the forge, you know, today, because uh, that's what I love to do. Um, and that, if that's not good advice for, you know, what we're talking about here, uh, how, are you, how will you become this Queen of Pentacles exactly that way? That's the way Saturn wants. It wants you always to earn it. Well, this is in the position of in the heart spread, the advice from spirit for this relationship as a whole. Now, I don't know if you guys were married. It does imply that. I got a heavy hit, though. This is a past marriage, past life stuff. So what went on between you guys, too, was, it, and this probably happens, I mean, this happens all the time. I think all of our, us, we probably some type of soulmate. I mean, anybody you marry or interact with or around. Um, but this is pretty strong. Um, like, so maybe, too, in, in your reaction to this relationship and their reaction, you got to take into account that maybe this was a soul contract and things had to balance out here somehow. I mean, it's not about retribution and everything. It's just about energies having to work together and balance and something went on um, because, you know, maybe you guys really are, like you would say, soulmates, you know, uh, close in your soul family and you reincarnate together. Uh, over and over, Aquarius, Page of Wands, and the outcome is the Page of Wands, looking back at the Fool, it's very important about that part, this Page of Wands is the outcome, you know, this fire energy, that you may well have in your uh, chart, in the form of Sag's, could be, most likely going to be Aries, this got Aries written all over it, and you're looking back at the Fool here, so look back at yourself, that part of you that just gave yourself to this person. And, you know, with the star and the fool, it, this would have been like your, you could have lost your faith with this energy because this is putting everything out there and, believe, and, all, and then probably here having it, you know, uh, shoved back in your face. Um, so that's got to be a huge hit, man. So this rebuilding of with the pinnacles could just be of your own kind of foundation. And this brings in the religious spiritual element and also of it becoming very strong. And then you look back with this page of wands upon the fool. And it's like there is some kind of cycle um, now with some fire energy in you and kind of starting over. Um, but in a way, I think you the way you're going to look at this is like you still have your life, you still have a passion, things you want to do, and now you can just go focus on that. And it really doesn't matter what this person did or didn't do. You're, uh, you're ready now, you know, with the page of wands looking at the fool, you know, that's like somebody going, let's, you know, let's go, you know, we can be, we can leave in a few hours, let's just pack and hit the road and drive across the country. And you're like, yes. Uh, that kind of energy, and uh, I love it. Thank you, guys.